What's going on, everybody? Maxwell Q here. Welcome back to How To Tuesdays. So, as you guys could tell from the description, today we are going to be talking about EQs and how to um, EQ your instruments so your mixes sound better. Um, I've been listening to a lot of your beats lately, and um, a lot of them sound very muffled. They they, they aren't hitting as hard, and um, they you can just tell that nothing is EQ'd or EQ'd uh, to a certain extent where um, all the low end is still bleeding through into their 808s and kicks. And that's why you're, you know, your, uh, your beats aren't hitting as hard as you'd like them to. So today we are going to go over three tricks that will help you guys uh, out with EQing and we'll get your mixes sounding better so let's get on into it so i have this uh pluck right here um by the way if you guys hear like a a little bit of a buzzing in the background it's because i've adopted a new pet cicada um <laughs> i don't know where he is he's somewhere in this room and i have seemed to f yet to find him for the past two weeks, so I'm just gonna say that I have a new pet cicada. Um, let me know in the comments what I should name him because he's been here for a while and I don't know if he's leaving anytime soon. So might as well name him at this point. So give me some comment, give me some uh, names down below in the comments. Um, anyways, let's get into this. So we have this pluck right here and that I got from Splice. I'm gonna be honest. And um, we'll, t we'll take a listen, but when you listen to it, you'll hear that there's um, a lot of low end in this, in this uh, pluck. So, you know, we need to fix that because we don't want any uh, low end within our, uh, within this instrument because it's going to bleed through into our 808. Um, so let's, I'm going to play it for you guys. So as you guys could tell, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of low end in here. So we're just going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. But um, there's a lot of low end happening. So first thing that I'm going to teach you guys is the high pass filter trick. Um, and this is what's going to help um, get rid of all that low end for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that real quick. Um, so... Alright, so we're going to take this high pass filter and we're going to sweep it till the, we're going to sweep it up until the low end is completely gone and that mid to low range is basically completely gone and it's going to sound very thin. But then what I'm going to do is what's going to help your mixes a lot better. Alright, cool. So we're just going to keep going. Pass that mid low. All right, cool. All right, so now it's we've knocked out all that low end, but it's starting to sound thin. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this back until you hear enough of that, you know, mid-low range so it sounds full and it doesn't sound thin. Now, you can also do this with high end as well. Um, so you're just gonna do the same exact trick. So this has a little bit too much of high end on it. So I just wanna get rid of it a slight bit. So you're just gonna do the same exact thing. I like to start around uh, 2.6 kilohertz and then just pull back until it sounds good enough to my ears. Because right now it sounds very muted. But as we open it up,
sounds good there. So all we did there was just tame a little bit of that high end. Um, but that's the first trick. Um, the second is going to be what we're going to do now, which is called low shelving. Um, and when we op open up this EQ on tab, we get this um, button right here. And what this is, is the low and low shelf. Uh, this red one up here is the high shelf, but we don't need that. Um, the only time I would ever really use this is if you want to brighten up some of those highs. But in this case, for, the, for this, we're not going to worry about that at all. Um, the reason why I use this in some cases is for when the low end is bleeding through a lot, or there's a lot of low end, and, you know, that mid, uh, that mid low frequency right here just isn't coming through enough so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to drag before i even play it i'm going to drag this button to the bottom left corner and then from there i'm just going to slightly adjust moving this in and this out till we find a nice balance that's starting to sound nice to me um you know it took out it took out a lot of that low end that we that was still bleeding through and we just finely tuned adjusted this um high pass filter just so it wasn't sounding too thin um because when you do lower the high shelf or the low shelf it does lower this curve right here um which if we were kept ducking more and more we would lose all that mid low range so um you know you had to bring it back just so it didn't sound thin um so lastly i'm going to show you the last trick um and this one is a little bit more in tune or a little bit more in depth but um it's really going to change your mixes a lot um so what we're going to do is we're going to open a m class equalizer and i'm going to make two of them just because this instrument has a lot of um peaks in it but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sweep for uh, harsh frequencies um, what I always do automatically is I do that low cut button right there just because they, what that does is it's gonna cut anything lower than 30 Hertz and you don't need anything below 30 Hertz at all in any of your instruments because it's not very you can't hear it it's not, you can't notice it to the human ear but you could feel it and that feeling you know, with everything being so muddy, it's when it's just going to build up and stack on top of each other, which makes, you know, all your low end sound super muddy. So, you know, just turning that low cut button on will, you know, help uh, get rid of that low end that's unnecessary in the instrument. Um, next, we're going to, on both, we are also going to drop the uh, frequency all the way to 30 hertz and then drop the uh the gain and the q as well um my saying when it comes to eqing is better to be safe than sorry um sometimes you're it even though you're eqing it's still gonna bleed through so you might as well knock out as much of that low end as you possibly can but here comes to the tr uh the trick that's going to save your all of your lives is peak adjustment so we're just gonna we're going to leave the frequency at the same. We're going to bring the uh, gain on the parameter 1 all the, way to the t all the way to full. And then we're just going to adjust this Q a slight bit so it's a little bit smaller. And now we're going to play the pluck and we are going to sweep through all the frequencies. And, hear, uh, and um, see if we hear anything that's too harsh to the human ear. We found our first uh, our first frequency right here at uh, 369 hertz. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop that down like that, 
and we're going to cut. What you want to do is you want to cut your frequencies before you boost anything. Um, so we're going to cut right there. Oh, just uh, sharpen that cue a little bit. And then we're on to the next parameter. So we're going to start around around 700. That's probably about the next frequency. And we're just going to make this a little smaller. And we're going to sweep again. hertz um, so what we're gonna do is the same exact thing we're just gonna cut notch it out a little bit bit actually yeah we're gonna make it about 14.5 and then on to the next one and you're just gonna keep doing this especially with these instruments that have plucks and pads and have a lot of frequency have it are spread across the entire frequency range um, you're gonna want to do this a few times just so you cut out anything that's too harsh to the ear it's really gonna help uh, bring out uh, bring out your mix. Alright, found another one around 880. And you're probably sitting there wondering, well, you know, you're cutting out so many frequencies around the same area, why don't you just make a big dip? You can do that. Um, I just think especially for this instrument itself it might not it you know you could do a big dip around between 800 to 400 per se and then just cut all that out but i don't want to cut all you know that everything all that's good about this pluck and i just want to notch out a few frequencies and just duck them a little bit so they're not as harsh i don't want to duck the entire thing All right, for this last one, you could do 2.1 kilohertz, but it's sounding fine to me. So the last one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for that lowest frequency that this um, instrument is hitting on, and I'm going to duck it just so we make sure we get rid of all that low end that we is unneeded. Um, if you didn't know to make your um, your cursor move slower, you can hit shift and then click. And what this will do is just slow down how fast it goes up and down. So I'm seeing it's about 180. Let's see where this is at. 180 perfectly so what we're gonna do is we are going to just move this down to about 175 and then we are going to duck at that point and then we're just gonna mute, move the frequency of this up to about 72 duck that down we're gonna open this up a little bit and perfect Now we have a pluck that's sounding nice and, um, you know, nice and EQ'd, so it's not bleeding through any of the other frequencies. There's no harsh frequencies. Everything's sounding nice and perfect. And if we add the 808 in, it should start to sound a lot better than it did before. See, now the 808 has room to breathe. It's not sounding super muddy. There's not all these other frequencies clashing with the 808 frequencies. And that's what the three tricks that's going to help you guys get your mixes 10 times better. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. 
Uh, if you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications to know every single time I upload a brand new video. Um, and if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. You don't know how much that does for me, but it also does a lot for you guys because the more we grow this channel, the more I'm going to be able to bring you. So that's it for today on How To Tuesdays. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.